welcome back to the channel. We have Sparkles here today, and if you can't tell by our awesome pigtails, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a Harley Quinn take. It's gonna be super fun, maybe a little inappropriate, really colorful, and uh, we're gonna get started. Stay tuned. You can tell she just loves this. There's nothing that she appreciates more than me. Is it supposed to burn? Is it burning? No, it like tingles. Oh, okay. If it becomes burning, you, you need to tell me because the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we tried a white cream paint base first, which you'll see in the bloopers, and it fucked it up. Something was wrong with it. She started to tingle and it would not blend. So what we're using is just my super light foundation on her because I'm about three shades lighter than she is. And we're gonna do the whole face. Yeah, this already feels better. Yeah. This already is so much better. And if you notice, my face got super red. I started to feel it like tingle on me. And then we realized that it was actually just not, yeah. not good. That's when it went like full abort mission. We're dragging down the neck. She has a super wiped out look that kind of like drains down her in all the press photos. But we still want it to be a little bit of a beauty makeup so we're not completely washing her out all the way. Yeah, this is already so, I can feel it different. Yeah, it's like is, smooth. Yeah, something was wrong with that cream paint. It was a brand that I don't use very often. I don't know if it went bad in the tube in a very short amount of time, but uh, we'll just say that that was not gonna work for what we were trying to accomplish. Okay, using a super damp beauty blender, we're gonna go in and just smooth this out. See, I can actually sit still now. When it doesn't hurt? Yeah, like when it's not burning my skin, I mean, I can not make all those crazy faces. I was like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I've done your foundation before. You've never like jumped away from me. We're good. So I'm gonna be using the NYX White Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm just gonna buff over her whole face to set this so that she doesn't look too dewy. Harley Quinn has a very flat look in all of the pictures. Very matte, she's in trend. I mean, even in the 1996 ones, she was I mean, she had the ha like she had the raccoon eyes, um, and that was like the classic black and red. Which I'm actually really glad they didn't bring that back. They did it like for like a split second. Which, if you haven't seen the movie, it's phenomenal. I don't want to give too much away. Um, I think the so what I'm doing right now is I'm using the NYX lavender illuminating stick mixed up with a little bit of Ulta's illuminating powder. And I'm just gonna get just a little bit of highlight on the high points of her face. So I'm gonna use Wet n Wild. Most of the stuff we're using is fairly drugstore, pretty easy to get a hold of. So she does it low and a little bit back towards the cheek. So she's almost using the blush as her contour. Now it's time for the brow. This is always my favorite part. I know, you, you love a good brow transformation. Oh, yeah. Harley is blonde and platinum blonde. Which but I almost. She's pretty close to platinum. And what we're gonna, but she has fairly dark defined brows. So I'm just taking an elf brow stick. And we're gonna do a little darker on the bottom. And then a little bit more of a blonde on the top to create the shape. We don't want them super harsh, but we do want them defined. So what we did in the meantime was we did take the NYX um, NYX Milk Pencil and just go all around her eyes to create a really pale base. I am not gonna be naming my eyeshadow colors for this point, and I'm not naming them because you can do this look with any eyeshadow, just in any, any brand. You don't have to worry about brand with this. So don't think because you didn't spend 60 bucks on a palette that you can't do this. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking a really intense blue. We'll be doing her first eye in blue. I'm gonna pack this all over the lid, but I am gonna avoid the inner corner 
because on all of the pictures, the inner quarter is very, very white. This does not need to be super smooth, but it does need to be pigmented. And we're dragging out slightly towards the end of her eyebrow, but not past the end of her eyebrow. I'm gonna go in with one more layer. I'm going along the underside of her eye just a little bit for now. We're gonna do more with that. Now using a blending brush, which is brand spanking new, so I'm gonna get blue eyeshadow all over it. Why is it new? It's new because I got mugged by Ulta. I walked in for hair color and they were like, hey, we're having two great promotions, which is basically Ulta saying, we're gonna shoot you if you don't give me your purse. And I walked out $100 lighter and I didn't even know what I had. It was like a hipster blackout. First thing I had a latte and then it was all over. We like to call that basic white girl, <laughs> which I am, so I can use that term. I like it. I you like that? Good. Okay. Yeah. I think it matches. It matches pretty closely to whatever yeah. we're going our reference. Uh, by the way, I don't know who this girl is. I almost feel like it's Nikki Tutorial. Like it looks like her, but I can't tell in the Pinterest post doesn't have a name attached to it. So we're just kind of going off of what we can. Whoever you are, I would leave men for you. I'm just throwing that out there. Now using a super teeny, teeny, tiny brush. I'm taking that same vibrant blue and I'm getting right up underneath her eye. We are getting fallout. I'm not super worried about it right now. It is something we can clean up. This look has a really pigmented smoky eye going on with it. So I'm shaping where that smoky eye is gonna go. And then using a fluffier brush, I'm gonna be popping a really bright silvery white into the inner corner, top and bottom. Little stippling brush, and I'm just flicking some of this excess pigment from the bottom. And that's also gonna blend out my edges a little bit. You should just dye your hair green, and then you can be the joker for Halloween. I brought green up to Patrick, and he would prefer I did not. The preference is no. I'm just saying. Which was said in a very nice, please for the love of God. Whereas I keep being asked to put more pink in my hair. Could you just could you just add a little, just a little yeah. more? Do you, I love the flute. Her hair is perfect for flute. I feel like I should go to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to sell some phones. You might actually do really well. People would appreciate it. I mean, little old ladies just come up to me and they're like, it's purple. I got called Pinkie Pie by like a four-year-old and I start like started crying. I'm like, this is emotionally it? overwhelming. <laughs> it's, it is. So the next thing I'm using is a cranberry red color. And this is just my base because red is hard to get pigmented because manufacturers just don't make it super bright. So I'm going across the top of her lid, same thing, avoiding inner corners just a little bit so that I can get that really solid sparkle in there. And this is more of a cranberry than a bright red. And open and look up. So this super blown out smoky eye could really be any color you want it to be. In this case, we're just following a movie. Good movie. An amazing movie. Now I'm going in with a really intense red to pigment up that color. No, but it's like something that I've taken away because even though I'm in some of the videos, I also watch your videos because I like to hear your voice sometimes. Aww. But like, there was this one part where you were talking about you use your brush, but you take like a baby wipe and you make wet. I don't dampen. Say the, dampen, thank you. I just don't want to <laughs> use the other word. 
You mean? No, don't just so. Moist. No. Oh, it's just so gross. <laughs> that's like that's like the. It's like a. It's a five-letter swear word. Five-letter swear word. It's a five-letter. Like so you mean that I shouldn't tell you that this brush is moist, as I put this silver on your inner corner? I mean, I'm just saying. But I started doing that with like. I do a lot of chocolate and light pink because those are my favorite colors to do for my own eyeshadow. And what I'll do is I'll take the baby wipe and I put the brush in it and dampen it. And it's crazy the color stays. Yeah. And it's so much brighter than it would have been if I didn't do that. So that's something I've taken away from your videos. Yay! I'm helping! And then I taped my eyebrow because I was trying to do the tape crease and I taped my eyebrow and I ripped off like Because <laughs> it wasn't regular scotch tape, it was like the invisible duct tape. Yeah. Don't do that. Do not Don't do that. Duct tape is bad. Full disclosure, don't do that. The, I'm give it's a public service announcement. You're welcome. So I did moisten this brush with a baby wipe. And I'm dipping it in a white shimmer shadow and just highlighting the inner corner of her eye and it's her just, brow bone. That is a horrible word. Like, nobody, nobody likes that word. Like, unless you're talking about cake, you should never use that word. You heard it here, folks. The only time you can use the word moist is talking about cake. Like it's, that and crusty. Yeah, I'll agree with you on crusty. Crusty's nasty. Crusty, like no one's ever been like that was deliciously crusty. No, like pie crust is flaky. Yes, yes, I will agree with you. I'm not gonna go into the other terms that you would use for the word crusty, but it's just it's a bad word. They're just bad words. There's nothing good that comes off of the word crusty. No, crusty millennial. <laughs> Two bad words. <laughs> with no good connotations for either. No. <laughs> so we're going in with a super smudgy black eyeliner. And we're going along the top pretty close to her lash line. And I want a smudgy one because I want something that I can kind of blow out a little bit. This is really just a face. That's the noise for smoking out eyeliner. <laughs> But yeah. It's not on my list of particular favorite Disney movies. I, my brain is IMDb. It's, yeah, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> now using a black charcoal and a, like an eyeliner brush. When That's what those brushes? Eyeliner and eyebrows. Oh, okay, I use it for my eyebrows. I'm creating a really super blown out, smoky line. Look up. I think something that's good to mention too is you and I both wear contacts. Yes, we do wear contacts. You can do shit like this with contacts. I'm wearing them right now. There have definitely been some times where I've regretted my life choices with like eyeliner or specific, like certain mascaras that will like create like a film over your contact. Yeah. I have trouble with loose um, like setting powder. Look up. Ironically, I bought um, hard candy setting spray. I like the setting sprays. Powder is not my friend. Well, considering I have to spray myself in the face. And you hate that? I hate it. And I'm learning to be okay because I know that you'll do that to me and I don't have a choice. So I'm like basically John McCain torturing myself with setting <laughs> spray. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're gonna give her the Harley Quinn heart now. And I'm just gonna use a felt tip pencil and I believe it's under the red eye. Yes, okay. I feel like drawing precise shapes on other people is a skill only few have. Fun fact, 
Burger Robbie actually has a tattoo gun and tattooed the word squad on a bunch of her castmates. And the first one to get it done, she forgot a letter. What does it say? Just quad? No. Like nice squad. Quads? What? It says suicide squad. Squad! Squad! <laughs> she was on like, not Letterman, but she was on like a talk show and she was like, yeah, I forgot a letter. <laughs> So she, uh, someone has that permanently on them. That's my swad. It's my swad. Swad goals. <laughs> Hashtag swad goals. That made me leave the room once. Although, I call it the pound sign. The pound sign. Because I can't justify calling it the hashtag. I'm like, pound sign. <laughs> pound sign swad goals. <laughs> Look, look, look at that. Yeah, no, that was bad. <laughs> 